guys, uh, Steven here. Just wanted to do a quick update to show you um, the progress that I've made on this computer and give you a quick little overview of uh, what all it's capable of. And I apologize that I misused the word computer so often. It's just, that's eventually what it's going to be, so I feel comfortable calling it that. It's kind of like, you know, if you were building a computer and all you had was the case, you would still call it your computer. It's just not done yet, you know what I mean? That's the same principle here. So this is a computer, it's just not finished. So as you can see, we've got three displays wired up, a full seven segment, another full seven segment, and then a single digit right here. And all this digit means is um, if you're doing addition and it's illuminated, that means you add 256 to your answer. Um, if, it, if it's not illuminated, then you add zero. And if it is illuminated but you're doing subtraction, then we ignore it. And the reason for that is that's one of the rules of binary subtraction is when we're doing, doing subtraction, uh, we eliminate the our overflow bit so we're just gonna focus on these two right here so I wanted to do a couple examples and give you a quick little tour of everything finished um, hooking up this control panel is a huge pain in the ass uh, I would not say it was the most fun thing I've ever done uh, when we saw before we had everything on the ground in a line and what I did was I ran all these lines up to um, to two different control panels this on one side is one number this on the other side is another number and I've started adding in some signs to teach you how to do stuff if you download my world this lever right here is our adder subtractor selector left like the current position is add and right the other position would be subtraction and I'll show you examples of both of those and then for each of these I give you a value for what each lever is worth so if you wish to construct a number all you have to do is add up the levers so if we want to make like 17 we add 16 plus one and that actually gives you your binary number on top if you read the on torches as ones and the off torches as zeros we have one zero 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 one and all the ones before it are a zero and uh, what I plan to do I will talk about after this I suppose <laughs> I shouldn't get ahead of myself so um, my glowstone makes a really sweet light source for this map because uh, I can embed it in the cloth so um, I wanted to show you examples, so let me do some examples first. Uh, before I showed you an addition, so what I'd like to do is, oh geez, I fail, show you a uh, subtraction example. And so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to cut really quickly to prepare it so I, so I don't, um, you know, mess it up or anything. And uh, I'll resume really quickly, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got some um, pretty easy examples to follow. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is uh, a big positive number minus a small negative number. So first I'm going to switch to subtraction because we're doing subtraction. And uh, so with this system, I forget exactly which is which. So we're going to, I forgot to label them, which is our, because uh, one of, you always have to put the negative number on one panel. And I forget which one it is, but no big deal. If you look out here, we still see zero, zero, even though I switch it to negative. Although we have a one right here and we just ignore that. Remember, always ignore what's on this panel for our purposes. And so I'm going to switch these here. So we're doing 60 minus 50. 60 is 32 plus 16, which is 48, plus 8 makes 56, and plus 4 makes 60. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Yeah. And then we're going to subtract 50. And 50 is a very easy number to make. We take 32 plus 16 to give us 48, and then we just add 2. And that's, oh, come on, 50. So we have one one zero zero one zero, okay. And I'm gonna be giving a full tutorial on how we do, uh, you know, binary addition and stuff. So let's look out at our display. Remember, we ignore the carry bit if we're doing subtraction, and we are. So I'm gonna actually tilt my screen so you can't see it. So our answer is zero a. The zero means our answer is positive, okay. If you have a number in your left column that is, la uh, la let's see, less than or equal to seven then our answer is positive. If it's 8 through 15, or 8 through F, it's negative. And then A, if I drew a con correspondence table back here to help you guys out who don't know hexadecimal, A equals 10, okay? A is just a shorter way of saying 10, and all computers understand that A equals 10 in this, in this sense. So let's verify. We did 60 on this side, minus 50 on this side, and we got 10. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Excellent. So we know that we're able to subtract a, a two positive numbers to get a positive number. But let's make it more interesting. Let's do something which will purposely give us a negative answer, yeah? So let's take um, 8, 
which we just click the lever for 8. Okay. Oh, come on now. Click for 8, and then we'll subtract 12. And we know 8 minus 12 is going to give us a negative 4. And so our answer, we're going to have to kind of interpret it a little differently here. So we have 8 on this side, minus 4 on this side. And let's look out at our hexadecimal display. Okay. We have F and C. So we're going to have to dissect this a little bit to understand exactly what we have. So remember, since our thing on the left is greater than 7, we know our answer is negative. So, so far, everything checks out. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to try to tr write to make this easier for you. So F, if we um, look at our correspondence table, F is equal to 15, okay? And binary for 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1, okay? And that is just a commonly known fact. And then we also have C, and C is equal to 12. So C would be, let's see, we have 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0, okay? So these are our two numbers right here, yeah? And with a negative number, we're in 2's complement, okay? And 2's complement is how you express negative binary numbers. And here's how we can convert our answer here into an actual number that we can read, okay? So what we'll do is we'll, it, we'll change all the bits. All the 1's become zeros. So let me write this down for you. 1's become 0. Oops. Forgive me. 1's become zeros, and zeros become 1's. And then at the very end, we add 1. And that converts a negative binary number to a positive binary number. It's a really simple thing. Um, I'll, I'll try to show you guys a proof of that in my next video, where I'll just be doing a bunch of binary examples on, on like pen and paper, and then verifying in the game. So let's convert this, OK? So if we change all of our bits, we're going to get, um, let's see, let me write it down so I don't forget. We get 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 1, 1. So let me write this down here. 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 1. Then we simply add 1 to this, okay? And that will give us our answer without the negative sign. So we just, you know, in our minds, append a negative sign. The computer works with this number. It knows what to do with this. But in our minds, we can't really read this very easily, okay? So what we'll do is, we, we see this here. If we look at it, all of our, all of our zeros mean that it's positive. You know, you can ignore a zero in front of a number. For example, if we look at, you know, this, that's the same as, oh, sorry, I did it wrong. This just means 50. It's just got a bunch of extra zeros. It doesn't mean anything. It's the same in binary. These other zeros don't mean anything. We just look at our first uh, significant digit, which is our first non-zero digit. So we add one to this, and we get, let's see, we get one, zero, zero, okay? Because, and I'll show you why, zero, one, one, plus 1 equals this. I'm going to show you this more in depth on paper, but I just want to show you that our calculator works right now. So 1, 0, 0. And if we look up on our on our list here, what that equals to, 0, 0, 1. That equals 4. So we did 8 minus 12, and we got negative 4. So we know that our adding machine, by the three examples that I've done, one from the other video and two from this video, we can subtract two positive numbers and get a positive result, and we can subtract two negative numbers and get a negative result. So if you're wondering whether or not this works, well, now you know. It definitely works. And again, I apologize that this is kind of confusing. Um, binary addition and subtraction is very confusing until you do a couple examples yourself. So I'm going to upload this world, and I'm going to put as many rules on this wall as I can so that you're able to look at your answer and figure out exactly what you have. Now, I won't be able to list out every single answer possible because there are about, oh, about four or five hundred different examples possible. We can have answers up to 256 or so, or up to three or four hundred, and then down to, like, negative 127. So it'd be a lot for me to write out. But if you look up online, you can convert these very easily if you look up a converter. And uh, so this, again, is our 8-bit adder subtractor. And I will be adding to this, in case you're curious, the memory to store the answer, the memory to store the inputs, so we can just use buttons instead of levers, because I don't really like um, having to switch all the levers. I'd rather use a, a reset button to turn them all off at once. And then, of course, we'll be adding other functions, such as multiplication and division, and then binary logic functions, such as and, or, not, xor, xnor, you know, all the fun ones. And those, we will explore really what we can do with those. You can kind of look at my video of the, of the um, Logic Gate Museum, the Redstone Museum on Infrared Server. But uh, let's see. So also, uh, my game.
Okay, so also keep your contest entries coming for, for the Infrared Server Contest. I'll refer you to that video instead of talking about it again here. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Oh yeah, by the way, I also recently was given a YouTube partnership, which is lots of fun because now I can, um, I can make a little money on the side with YouTube so I can afford to have more contests for you guys. I can afford um, to help pay for the server, to buy you know better server equipment, and I'll be buying new filming equipment pretty soon, new camera and stuff like that, so that I can uh, do more do more live videos that are in, in higher quality without having to use uh, the MacBook Pro, which uh, I certainly appreciate it. I hope this demonstrates to you how versatile my system is and makes you want to build your own, or at least try mine out. But thank you and goodbye.